Each point in our lives is an effect of circumstances, environment, fates, chance, our judgment and decision making. This is a question of recapitulation. If we may retract, retrace all the judgments and decision makings in our lives, we may understand why are we at the exact point in our lives. Now, people with plenty of vigilance, awareness and consciousness of every point of their lives usually have a greater insight in all the whys and the hows. Now, people are usually seen for the effects at the pinpoint in time of their lives. We do not have insight into their histories, their judgment, their decisions, their environment, resources, circumstantial things, and so on. Why is recapitulation so important, the Aristotelian recapitulation? Each day, each week, each month, each year, we recapitulate all the things we've done in our lives, and we reach a certain fine point of reflection in which we have a greater array of understandings. It is as if the men in Schopenhaueran aphorism zum Lebensweishaupt that climbs the valleys, the mountains, and then he has the view of all the lowlands that he passed so far. Why is it very important? Because in such a case we may understand both our errors and the things that furthered us. In such a way we know that the judgments and decisions are almost always limited to our cognitive, emotional, spiritual, feeling, resource at a given moment, at a given time. If we have the information, it undergoes cognitive bias. We may decide on this or another algorithm of action. But where does it lead us to? When someone the contests the effects of our lives, we are equipped with a fortress of all the whys in the house and we know why did we end up in a place when we are now. We may track back all the decisions, we may trace back all the methods we used, and we may ignore the naysayers and idiots that are already judging us for what we are, what we went through, and when we, whence we arrived. In other words, it is a factor of self-reflection, of self-correction throughout life, so that we pursue an autonomous, a very vigilant and conscious life. Why is it so important? Because then we can look in the mirrors and honestly say, we lived through strife, we combated heroically, we overcame pain. No matter when or where we end up in life, we know that there was a certain notion of rectitude, of great understanding and insight throughout our life. And this is a metaphysical resource, that every heroism every arete, every greatness that we employed from the vast experience of our life is somehow immortalized in our diamond, in our genius above. And this is a reflection of our life in the mirror of eternity's sure presage. Everything we've done, all the decisions, all the great judgments, everything we were praised for or scorned for, everything that we were elevated for, everything that we were contempted for. And this is as much important as it coins the character and the ethos of a diamond, of a genius. Not all is lost. Non omnis moriar, memento mori, invicti genie. Thank you.